Hi, today I'm going to talk about how to get your data out of my flight book if you want to export it to another program or do analysis in a spreadsheet or whatever you want to do. It's your data. It's really important that it be easy for you to access. The way you get at your data is on the website under the logbook tab by going to download. And here there's a whole bunch of options. Um, I'm going to come back to the spread to the Excel spreadsheet here. I'm going to start with the CSV because I think that that's the most interesting one here. CSV is nothing more than a text-based uh, text file that is structured in a certain way to represent data that is in rows and columns. And the idea is basically each row of the table is a line in the text file and the delimiter between each column within a row is just a comma, hence comma separated values or CSV. And the beauty of it is it's a text file so you can open it up and read it in any text editor. It's just very, very simple. But more importantly is that every spreadsheet on the planet can read CSV. And so if you click on this file, it will download a, uh, a CSV uh, file. It'll offer to open it with your default uh, spreadsheet. And there it is. Each flight here is on a different row. Uh, each column, you can see the headers on that first row. Each column uh, has the data for, for that uh, given flight. It's pretty straightforward. You can also download a zip file that contains any images or telemetry that you've saved with your uh, flights. Below that is an option to save uh, your, your data in CSV format to any of three different uh, cloud, uh, cloud storage providers, Dropbox, Google Drive, and OneDrive. You can set those up under the Profile tab, go to Preferences, and then down under Cloud Backup, you can see where you can set these up. There's, there'll be a link and it will take you over to the uh, appropriate website, which will then ask you to provide permission for my flight book to save uh, uh, to your uh, cloud storage. And you also have the option here of uh, saving a different file each time or overwriting uh, a single file each time you do this. But let me go back to download. And so all you have to do is press save and it'll save a, a copy of your, uh, of your logbook to the cloud uh, service and optionally include a zip, of, uh, zip file of images and telemetry. Uh, there's one other option here, which is to download a PDF. Uh, the PDF is nicely formatted for printing, but it's not terribly useful for uh, actually getting at the data in a, a form that you can do analysis on or import into another program. But it is useful for, uh, for a printed version, which is still a very uh, common version uh, or commonly requested uh, form for logbooks. Um, I should say, by the way, on these uh, cloud providers, that it, for people who donate uh, $25 or more, I do have the option to automatically uh, press the save button for you every night for a year. So it'll just do automatic backups for a year. Uh, that's as a thank you for donating. Um, but even without donating, you can set this up and, uh, and uh, press the button yourself. The final way to get at your data is to download it into an Excel spreadsheet or, or, and then pull to re from the spreadsheet to refresh your data. Let me show you how that works. So if I do that, it's going to download uh, an XLS file. And so this one is Excel specific. And now let me just move the window down here a little bit. You'll notice Excel is giving you some security warnings. And these are actually important warnings. Uh, in this case, I can vouch that the, the file is OK. Uh, but they're reminding you this file came from the internet. Uh, so you have to click to enable editing. And then you actually have to click to enable content because this spreadsheet is set up to pull your data. And so that's active content. So if you click that, now you can follow the instructions here in yellow. And what they say is to click on any one of these header fields. So I'm just going to uh, click on the date field. And then on uh, the data tab here, you can uh, click refresh. Or what I generally do is just right click 
on the header and choose refresh from there. And what it's going to do is it's going to ask me for my email address that I use on my flight book and then for my password. I'm not going to show you that here because I don't want the whole world to see my email address and password. Um, but what it will do is it will use that email address and password to sign into the website and pull your data. And it does that over a secure channel, so nothing's being sent in the clear. Um, but uh, Excel doesn't know that, that the, the, the data that it's asking for here is sensitive, so it, isn't, it doesn't show with the little uh, disks. But if you click on the box that says use this value for future refreshes, then you never have to enter it again and clear. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open, um, uh, I just did this a few minutes before this demo uh, and pulled it into, so same thing, So that, but except that I've gone in and I put in my uh, email address and password. So now you can see what it looks like to refresh. So again, I'm going to pick one of these headers and I'm going to say refresh. And look here in the lower uh, left corner, it says running background query. That's it. That's Excel going and hitting the server and pulling this data. Here it is. It's the exact same data that was in the, the uh, CSV file. The only difference is that I can now save this file and come back at a later time and click on a header and do refresh. And then so I, I, I can do it within one file. I don't have to uh, create a new CSV file. So I've just shown you a whole bunch of different ways that you can get your data out of uh, my flight book. I hope that you find that useful. Thank you.